Hi everyone and welcome to this presentation on implementing IPv6 addressing on hosts. Uh, we'll be talking about three main um, uh, methods. Uh, the first one is the Slack, which is stateless address auto configuration, and the stateless DHCP version 6 and the stateful uh, DHCP. So it's important uh, to, to cover the neighbor discovery protocol. This is what we're going to talk about. Talk about the messages that comes with that protocol. And um, we will talk about the um, the IP version 6 settings so when it comes to Slack and stateful and stateless DHCP. And then we are going to implement Slack and stateless and stateful DHCP version 6. So just a reminder, the PC, in order for the PC to communicate with other networks uh, and other hosts and routers in the network, they need the, similar to IPv4, they need the uh, their IP uh, version 6, the unique address, and the associated prefix, which is the MAC address used to be in IP version 4, and the default router and the DNS server should the host uh, require to go uh, to the uh, internet and beyond uh, uh, its, its network. So what does the neighbor discovery protocol do for us? It actually, it has a couple of uh, advantages and uh, it replaces some of the IP version 4 um, uh, protocols as well. So let's start with the Slack. So Slack is, as, as mentioned, it's a stateless, stateless address auto configuration. So when the host is enabled to, to, to receive its uh, IP version 6 and the prefix using Slack, uh, the, the, the neighbor discovery protocol messages will be used to do so. The other advantage is the router discovery. So the host learned the IPv6 on the available IPv6 routers, uh, of the available uh, um, IPv6 routers uh, in the same subnet. And this is done using the uh, neighbor discovery protocol. And it, it also has an important um, uh, mechanism where it enables the host to discover any duplication in the IPv6. Okay, we will see that in, in a moment. And it also, uh, this um, uh, neighbor discovery protocol enables, replaces actually the IPv4 ARP, where you can um, match the IP address to the MAC address. Okay, we'll see this in, in a moment as well. So uh, the, the protocol comes with a couple of uh, messages. Uh, we have some important messages with the router solicitation and the router advertisement. So the solicitation is basically the host will be asking the routers to identify themselves. And this message is normally sent to uh, at this address, FF02, uh, which is basically a multicast address. And the router in return will reply to the specific uh, host that sent that request or to as well to a multicast um, uh, IP version uh, 6. So FF02 means it's a multicast group. So here's a demonstration where we've got a PC1 is asking every router in the network to identify themselves. So basically, um, as, as a reply, a router can reply with the local link. Okay, just in case this are uh, the PC doesn't have the uh, local link, which is basically the default gateway, and also the router can reply with its um, 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 uh, what is its its um, uh, IP address and and the prefix. Okay. The uh, also then as part of the neighbor discovery protocol as well, we've got another two important messages, which are the neighbor solicitation, and neighbor advertisement, where the host can ask other hosts to identify identify themselves and send the MAC addresses, and in return the other hosts will reply with their MAC addresses and um, um, a mechanism of detection, uh, 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 or if there is any replication of IP version six will be. Uh, detected detected so th this is a as well a demonstration where we've got a pc uh, asking a, a specific host uh, reply if you are uh, if you have this ip version 6 and if that pc exists with that ip version 6 it will reply with its mac address and this is as we mentioned it it replaces the arp protocol in ip version 4 Another mechanism here is just to detect the uh, duplication. So reply if you are if you have this, which is exactly the same IP version six of PC one. So PC one send this exactly the same IP address, and in case some some host or a host replies with the same 
IP version 6, it means that there is a duplication. Okay, and therefore PC1 will take the correct action, uh, maybe to change its uh, uh, IP, IP version 6. Right, so the core uh, concept of this lecture is to distinguish between Slack and stateless DHCP and stateful DHCP. So basically with Slack, you will get a, uni a unicast address. And the way you get the unicast address is using the method here. So you will receive the prefix using the neighbor discovery protocol and according to which the Slack can, can, can generate that interface either by using a random method or using the EUI64, okay? So either this or this, this is depending on the prefix, of course. Um, so as a host, you only need unicast address, prefix, prefix length, and default router. This is all what you need to communicate with other hosts in the network. Okay. However, if you want to go to the internet and serve a particular uh, website and you need to do a, a, a name res uh, uh, resolution, um, um, uh, well, you need, you need to match an IP address with a, with a particular link, you will need a server, DNS server. Okay, and the way you get the DNS server is basically by enabling a stateless DHCP version 6. And this is something we are going to see in a moment how we do that. Now, when it comes to the state, stateful DHCP, you will get all the information that you need except the default router from the uh, I, from the DHCP pool that you have created. So you'll get the unicast, you'll get the prefix length, and you will get the DNS server. Uh, IP addresses. However, for the default router, you will get that from the neighbor uh, discovery protocol. So this method now uh, replaces the DORA, if you remember the DORA from IP version 4, so where the PC will send a solicit a message, the DHCP will reply with the advertisement, and then uh, the PC will request, and there are, uh, there's a reply of confirmation. What happens? According to the to the receive for comment two four six two, so, so this is one of the update updates of uh, DHCP version six. The router advertisements contain two flags: a flag that is um, an, that's named as uh, M flag, which is the managed address configuration, or the other stateful configuration. So we have two flags: the M and the O. If the M is enabled, that means we are telling the uh, PC to use a stateful DHCP. So you get the information, all what you need from the DHCP. If the other is enabled, we are telling the PC to get other information, which is basically the DNS from the DHCP. So with the M enabled, you'll get everything, everything here, okay? And with uh, O enabled, you will get you will get this. Okay, you will get you will get everything from here and the other, which is basically the, the servers here or maybe domain name. You will get it from the stateless DHCP version six. So let's do some implementation. Uh, I put a router here, and the router will act as a DHCP server. Uh, we will create some pools, and we've got two uh, sub networks, each of which will come with a unique. Uh, IP uh, uh, version 6 uh, addresses. So we will do three main scenarios, pretty much easy and simple, a uh, Slack, stateless DHCP, and stateful DHCP. And this is what I have prepared for you. The network is still um, row network. Okay, so what I'll do, I'm going to connect um, all these devices uh, just to prove that uh, there's no connection and everything is set up from scratch there's no configuration whatsoever on these devices okay so you click up on pc1 got desktop ip there's nothing there okay even if you request ip version 6 there's nothing there okay so what we need to do is basically we, we need to do the basic configuration on the router first. So basically we will um, need to enable these two networks, which is this and uh, this network. And we will just need to do the basic, basic configuration that we all know uh, about. Uh, we go to the interfaces. So interface uh, 
fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 in our case. And then we need to give it an IP address, which is IP version 6 ADD address. I'm going to copy this. Ctrl C, come here and paste it. And don't forget the prefix. Okay, and this is the prefix. So now what we've got is an IP version 6 enabled on this uh, host and uh, let's let's uh, shut uh, no shut down so no shut no shut and the this address is now green and it's just negotiating with the uh, switch so to ensure there is no spanning tree protocol problem if I, I go to the pc I click here nothing will happen okay there's nothing there and the reason why there's nothing there yet is because we did not enable IP version 6 on the router okay so the router now we have a, a, an IP for the for the uh, uh, address uh, for the port but however we need to tell the router to start sending advertisement and we, the the way we do this is IP version 6 unicast routing the moment you do this see what happens it automatically has given me uh, has given the uh, host uh, or the PC that's connected to it a an IP version 6 um, um, uh, address and it has given the default gateway okay so that's slack so we've done the first scenario that's basically slack okay so everything has been generated automatically now as you can see here there is no uh, there's no DNS server okay there's no DNS server IP address so what we need to do uh, is basically to go, go to the stateless uh, IP version uh, uh, 6 so before I do that let's let's uh, let's do the network with the fast uh, Ethernet uh, 0 slash 1 I'm just going to uh, give that network there and no shot okay so we have these two addresses enabled on the router now let's create the the stateless dhcp okay and it's pretty much similar to what we've done in the ip version 4 so what we need to do is uh we need to go and create a pool um so we'll go to the ip version 6 uh d hcp pool pool and let's name name it as uh, stateless something so a underscore state state less okay so that's the name of my pool inside which if you remember from the presentation i'm going to only put the dns server okay so the dns server information and the DNS server impression, you can put any address uh, if you like. DB uh, Cafe uh, ten four. That's for for example. Okay. Now, in order to enable this to have, so this is a pool. But who is going to use the pool? So we need to tell the F the fast Ethernet zero slash zero to use that pool. Okay. So what we need to go to do and we need to go to the address uh, for zero slash. We need to go to the port and tell the port U is going to be a DHCP server, okay? Not client server. So we have a client and server. So you need to serve as a server, and you will need to pick your addresses from this pool. Copy, come here, paste okay so what will happen is the uh, port will pick the addresses from the pool now as you as 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 you remember we've got two flags so we enable we need to enable one of the flags and because this is stateless we need to enable the other flag which is the O flag ip version 6 um neighbor discovery this is how we do it nd neighbor discovery other flag so other configuration flag and uh, we let's let's click, click here and see what will happen um, if I move to this static and come back to the automatic it will give me this the server but um, I'm going to wait a little bit maybe a couple of seconds 
uh, did this happen uh, on its own? So let's give it a couple of seconds here. Uh, one, two, three. Normally, pretty much, uh, it's uh, it's fast enough. Ah, here we go. So that is my DNS server. Okay, so the DNS server has been added here. So now we are done. So basically, the 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 uh, um, the host has everything it needs to communicate with the networks and anything else in the um, uh, internet. So that's pretty much uh, the stateless DHCP and Slack. So what we are going to do now, we need to enable the stateful. So we need to, for these PCs here, okay, for PCs here, we need to tell them to take their addresses from a um, stateful uh, DHCP, not from Slack. Okay, at the moment it's taken from Slack. Okay, we need to enable uh, a stateful DHCP. So we need to create another DHCP pool, uh, and uh, let's 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 go back to uh, config, config mode, conf t, and then do exactly the same what we've done before. So we need to create a pool, and uh, let's create that pool. Uh, let's name this pool as b underscore state stateful. Okay, the name does not matter. Okay, you name it B, you name it A, you name it anything. So we have created a pool. Inside that pool, if you remember from the presentation, we need to give the IP addresses pool and the prefix. Okay, so the way we do it, we do address prefix and then we put whatever we want. Okay, the IP version 6. Um, IP addresses two, so one, two, and now what I want to do here is just to give myself an indication that that PC has taken actually their IP version six from that pool. I'm just going to put D D D D here and slash eighty. Why slash eighty? If you if you count all of these here, you will get uh, eighty bits. So this is my prefix, okay? And uh, that's that's done. I just need to do the DNS, okay? DNS server. This is my DNS server. Exit, and pretty much we are good. Now I need to go to the fast Ethernet zero slash one, which is this one, and tell it you is going to act as a server, okay? You will need to act as a server. You will take your information from this pool. So this pool is going to be uh, the one that will be used by this port. And if you remember from before, IP version six, we used neighbor discovery. Okay, managed configuration flag. Before we used other, now we use the M flag, which is the managed configuration flag, means take everything you need, basically basically the IP address and the prefix and the DNS server from here, everything you need from here. The rest, which is the, um, the, 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 the default gateway, you take it from the neighbor discovery protocol. I'm going to press this. So let's, let's come here. Okay, so at the moment it has this uh, one, Two and 209 this has to be replaced by ddd if if that works okay so let's give it some time or let's just move here on yeah here you go okay it has it has taken ddd it has taken a new ip address from that pool with a prefix slash 80 and it has gained as well the dns server ip address Okay, that's all what I wanted to say, uh, um, and I hope I hope that was informative. And thank you very much for uh, watching.